is auto symposium as uh, as i uh, said uh, uh, this morning during the, the presentation the welcome of the meeting uh, we have tried to organize this uh, uh, satellite symposia in a way a little different from usual and also we asked to the companies to really present uh, the brand new uh, applications brand new technologies here and uh, the the first example of that is exactly this uh, the symposium uh, regarding Esaote and regarding fusion imaging. So I, I hope you will uh, appreciate because some of the uh, features we presented today here have never been seen by anybody because of the really new, brand new uh, technological advancements uh, of the company in this field. So, may I have the first? Okay. So uh, this is what, the, what is the, the summary uh, of this uh, uh, symposium. We will uh, uh, start with a few notes regarding the history of collaboration uh, between our, our center here in, in Busto in Italy with Esaute. Then uh, image fusion, uh, no, uh, one step back please. Um, one slide back please, okay. Uh, then the history, of the, the image fusion for oncologic patients from diagnosis to treatment, uh, and then the technological advancements, which will regard uh, how, to, how to achieve shorter time and more precision, how to control breathing of patients during uh, the fusion uh, modalities, targeting, planning of treatment, uh, and uh, how to assess the results uh, using this modality. So starting with the first, okay. The uh, Esota has been pioneering uh, real-time fusion imaging since uh, 2002, so uh, the first company in the world of ultrasound uh, uh, more than 10 years ago. And uh, during these years has been the leader in this uh, kind of, uh, of technology. Uh, only six years after the initial start of Esote, other companies started uh, uh, producing systems uh, uh, with the same uh, features. Next, please. And uh, we are very proud as a group of, of Busto to have been uh, in a strict collaboration with the Esaote team uh, to uh, show and to create the clinical needs in order to achieve, to obtain their technological and technical results. And uh, we presented the results in many meetings throughout the world. And as you can see here, uh, from uh, every step, every uh, technological step of fusion, uh, had a, uh, from our side, a parallel uh, scientific uh, presentation. And also some of, the, some of these presentations uh, uh, have won awards in, uh, in the, at the RSNA, the largest uh, radiological meeting in the world. Next, please. Okay. And again, from uh, 2008, these are the uh, further improvements on your left side with the corresponding presentations or papers on your right side. And as you see in the last few lines, uh, innovations, uh, uh, automatic registration, respiratory gating, uh, auto segmentation, and the multimodality data set rigid registration will, will be some of the features will be exclusively presented today, uh, most of them for the first time. So let's start with the first topic. Uh, it's uh, image fusion for oncology patients. All, these, uh, all this symposium will be conducted in a relatively unusual way. We have, uh, as you can see here on the podium, an engineer from Esote, uh, Stefano De Beni, and a medical doctor, Giovanni Mauri. And uh, the, uh, the medical doctor will, radiologist, will uh, present the possible needs or the uh, uh, clinical scenario. Uh, the engineer will uh, show how to solve these possible needs with a, from a technological point of view. And then, again, the radiologist will show some practical applications of these technological features. So, Giovanni. Thank you. So let's start with the aims of medical imaging in the 21st century. That is, of course, the diagnosis, but particularly the selection of the best therapy 
that have to be personalized and if it is local or systemic and is becoming crucial for the guidance of treatment for the assessment of the results of therapy and of course we always have to follow the patient and thus we as radiologists are involved completely in all the phases of the treatment of the patient. Thus, the imaging is more and more strictly related to therapy and no more only to diagnosis. In the past, we had to, to cut to see the pathology inside the patient and then we moved to the present where thanks to imaging and imaging developments, we are able to see inside the patient body and to tell the surgeon or other specialist how to treat the patient. And we are moving toward a reality where imaging will directly be involved and now is involved in the treatment of patients with uh, imaging guided ablations and procedures. Every day we have to face when we see a patient it generally arrives with uh, several different imaging uh, examinations and we have to try to merge all the informations deriving from these images mentally with the mental process in order to get the best diagnosis and to perform the best uh, planning for the treatment. And at this point is where we ask something to technology in order to know if they can help us in some way to with this process. As uh, we can see from uh, this video, the solution is, has been Mo to microphone. correlate microphone. in microphone. space and time the different data set. So we are able to load in our system, for example, an MRI and the PET and uh, automatically register between them. You see in the upper part the mismatch between the liver in PET and the MRI and after automatically the software is able to solve this equation giving uh, uh, evidence of the focal lesion uh, highlighted by PET also on the M T1 MRI. Of course, uh, in this tool, uh, there is also the possibility to automatically uh, segment uh, the lesion in order to speed up the process of the diagnosis. The there are uh, two ways to register a different data set. The first way is just to do a rigid registration. The rigid registration cannot take care about the organ movement. And we see in the upper part that the liver of a pre-post arterial CT, there is a mismatch clearly visible. With the deformable registration, the system is able to cover this gap, deforming partially and locally the CT. Of course, this uh, second way is uh, more time consuming. We found this kind of registration very useful, as you can see here, where you have a preoperative and a postoperative CT that uh, are correctly merged thanks to this kind of deformable registration. And just to give you an idea, if you load the original data, you can see how it was uh, not correctly uh, registered before the application of the software for, for deformation. Now we move from uh, uh, imaging for di from diagnosis to imaging for treatment because uh, the most important uh, clinical use of uh, these fusion modalities uh, is uh, not, uh, not for diagnostic purposes but for treatment, precision and accuracy of treatment. Okay. Interventional uh, oncology bridged the problem of uh, diagnosis and uh, therapy because as usually diagnosis and therapy remain distinctly separate, separated from each other in terms of time and space. With the uh, interventional oncology, we uh, merged together diagnosis and uh, treatment. Uh, the first uh, example of uh, fusion imaging is uh, represented by the CT PET and uh, it's called static fusion because the both modality are acquired in the same time and uh, overlapped each other. 
when uh, we introduce uh, the ultrasound in uh, this uh, uh, in this field uh, the static fusion is not uh, anymore possible and we need to move to the dynamic fusion as we, you can see in the video moving the ultrasound probe the uh, ultrasound image is spatially correlated to the CT plane but why is the fusion imaging so important for ablations uh, in the in uh, Europe, uh, ultrasound represents the most widely used uh, uh, technique. Uh, but often, the lesions are best identified on other modalities, like CT, MRI, or PET. And in some cases, it is also impossible at all to see the lesion under ultrasound. In these cases, we can perform ablation under ultrasound real-time guidance thanks to fusion imaging. Moreover, in some cases, during the treatment, the lesion is hidden by the gas formation. So you cannot exactly understand which part of the tumor you have ablated and which not. And this is particularly true for complex ablation of a large uh, tumor. Moreover, often patients arrive after other therapies, previous ablations or chemotherapy and have only a local tumor progression in a small part of the tumor that is well visible on uh, PET. And also in this case, it's very important to have a fusion imaging in order to target correctly only the viable part of the tumor. 